Mm -hmm. What we're doing here, <clears throat> we're getting ready to put our dielectric on that uh, iron boiler. So I've got the inside of the dielectric, we're going to solder that up. Good coating and paste on that. Over our work area there. And fire up the torch. That's it, quick. Don't need to overdo these joints. You don't need to overheat them. You don't need to overfill them. cutting this because we're gonna wrap up these fittings I don't know if you can see them but we're gonna start taping up these fittings and get oops this is a little tricky it's kind of an odd angle getting this tape on again this is our monster blue blue monster thread tape Get a couple of good, you know, you do it once, you do it right the first time, pay a lot of attention to it. I even like to put a little, little face of the Blue Monster pipe thread sealant. He goes on. Make sure we back up something here. We don't want to rip the boiler off the wall. Now when you're doing this on top of the fitting, you can sure crush that fitting. So you never want to pipe down on a fitting without something inside of it. You will deform it. That's actually pretty darn good right there. Next. All right. Next, I think. Oh yeah, short nipple and then we'll put that dielectric union on. A couple of quick wraps of tape. You do this like this and you get it tight, especially with that extra thread sealant, liquid thread sealant. I like to do three, maybe four wraps. It works better with a little lubrication. Like so much. Like so many things in life. Okay, you're gonna go right in there. Good. That looks good on Phil. Oh. Keep 